Hey everyone, it's Lisa. I wanted to um, do a quick follow up in the last video that's not quite out yet, but hopefully this will come out before this one. I wanted to reveal or do a quick swatching of the Man Mangio Gallery Artisoft pastels. Um, I just got these pastels uh, late last week and I'm really excited. I got the 48 colored box. They're not terribly expensive. Um, they're like roughly like $33. Um, I got them through Amazon. I'll try to put the link below. But I wanted to do a quick swatching because um, that was what on my to-do list today. And so I'm going to go through and I'm going to swatch all 48 colors. Um, and I'm going to show you what they look like um, once I do. All right, so here we go. These pastels, like I said in my... Um, previous video, I decided to get these because they're not um, artist gray, they're not like Sennelier's, um, but they're not as inexpensive as the Pentel's, but these are kind of like in between those two, those two brands and those kind of qualities. So they're supposed to be pretty easy to um, smudge into each other and to blend. And so I just think that the color palette is really awesome. Um, I'm looking forward to like actually playing with these. I've never done pastels before, but something about um, playing with uh, color with my hands, I actually really enjoy. I like that um, tactile feel. All right, so I'm gonna kind of go through and do this. It might be a little bit hard to do from how I normally do um, like watercolors, but I'm gonna try to do this anyhow. I've got a new, uh, desktop setup and I'm shooting this with my iPhone versus my regular camera because I'm very excited and I just want to get the swatching done. So I will read to you the colors and swatch and then I'll do a little bit of, um, I'll try to blend. You can blend with your fingers, um, a napkin or Q-tip swabs or your fingers. I'm going to try blending with my fingers because I think this is how I'm going to actually be applying these. So this first color, and I'll just read the colors as I'm going through the um, swatch, and I'll try to zoom in a little bit so that you guys can see. This first color is pink, and I think with um, pastels, you've got to kind of lay down, and I'm going to blend a little bit over into the next one so that we can kind of see what happens in the box. So this is pink. And this is gonna take a little bit of time, so I apologize. So if you're not interested in it, I understand. Please give a thumbs up or put your comments below if you have any questions. This is a light purple violet is the next color. And let's see how that blends into that. Okay, I've never played with pastels, but they don't blend as easy as uh, like watercolor paint, of course. But I also heard that you have to actually put down quite a bit of the pastel in order to get the color. And now I understand what they mean. Um, and you, you're supposed to start blending light to dark, um, which I have a lighter color on that pink, but I didn't put down a lot of the pink. So going forward, I'll actually apply more color. This next color is a mauve. So I think a good amount of um, pastels has to be used in order for you to actually see everything. And using a stump, oh, there's a little bit of blending. Okay, these are not, if, if there's pastels that are chalky, these are not it. Um, but I do like, you don't get a ton of residue on your hands when you are blending like that. After the mauve, uh, the next color, that doesn't seem to be right. But I'm going to go with how they had it in the box. It is a periwinkle blue. It's a really pretty color. actually put some over here so that it blends over into the new line. And the color after periwinkle blue 
is violet. After violet, we have lilac. Wow, that comes out really dark. And I'm applying a good deal of pressure um, when I'm actually swatching these. After lilac comes purple. I'll put a good deal down here. Oh yeah, it's pretty. After purple, we have carmine. The carmine all the way through there. I will say, I think that they're pretty pigmenty considering um, I've never played with these before. They're more pigmented than I thought. After carmine comes scarlet. Put scarlet down. Okay, the reds feel a little bit different than the um, the purpler shades did. After Scarlet is Vermilion. But they do blend into each other really quite nicely. After Vermilion is Flame Red which really looks, I don't know about you guys, but it looks really orangey to me. But they're calling this flame red. This one has a nice kind of consistency to it. The reds have a, a pretty nice consistency to them. They don't feel quite as um, hard to blend as some of the, pilot, uh, the violets and the pinker shades. This is orange. I mean, this feels pretty creamy. Um, so I'm really liking how the, uh, orange, uh, the orange colors are working. The next color is yellow gold. Again, the blending is really, it's pretty nice actually. But it takes a lot of work. I can see why people use blending stumps, I think, to uh, get this across. Then we have uh, orangish yellow. And I may need to actually, after this point, oh, I do like how they just kind of blend together, though. And really, considering I've been using these two fingers, they're not, there's not like a lot of feedback off of the... Um, pastels on my fingers like I thought that they would kind of build up and get kind of caked up they're not then we've got um yellow just regular yellow put some of the yellow over on here just so we can see that blend and I love the pigment load on these these are really I think a good quality the recommendation to get these was I think a good one, solid recommendation. And then we've got lemon yellow that I'm going to be blending with the yellow. And that's a little bit of the, this orangish one coming over on this one, which makes it look a little bit different. And after the lemon yellow, I'm going to go into the greens now. And the way that they laid out this palette and I'm going to show you really quick again. So it's really interesting. They put all these colors here and then they put some of the neutrals over here. But I kind of feel like some of these colors could have been blended in better with those. But they, there's probably a method to the madness. Um, might have been a separate line. Excuse me. Uh, moss green. Let me put some of that moss green down over there. Yeah, we'll blend that in. just so you can see what that looks like when you blend it over to the yellow. And then over to the next one, which is Molonite Green. 
just kind of like a bluish green it looks like to me. Like what you would get with Viridian almost in watercolor paper. I mean watercolor paint. It's really nice. And they blend together. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to order some blending stumps just so that I can kind of work um, work them into the paper a little bit. But pastel's gonna be a good workout for the um, arms there. Dark green, put that over there too. A little bit there, put that in there. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. Nice and nice and punchy. And after the moss green comes emerald green, which is this one. That's what that color looks like. Just we'll blend them in. So from what I can gather when you're using pastels, this is a grass green. Um, you don't want to have like this kind of Sorry, we got to bring this down. You don't want to have this kind of marking in it. You want to solidly fill in color and work your color in. Like, don't be afraid to apply pastel. Like, you got to apply pastel. Like, that's what I've been able to gather so far. And this is the yellow green, which kind of reminds me of a sap green some over here so we can blend now I'm being a little bit stingy because I'm just trying to get like a palette uh, sheet, cheat sheet together so I know what the colors look like I'm trying to apply all of my pastel onto this the sample this is a jade green ah I think I did split this down a little bit different I actually skipped one. Oops, I made a mistake. This is jade green. So I've already got an error in my palette that I'm just now noticing. And this is lime green, which is what I have in here in this cube. So I've kind of screwed this up. Um, so I'm gonna have to go back and correct my swatch here. But that's the lime green that in there like that. I'll just kind of probably overlap the naming. Ah, this is what we have to learn how to deal with, living with mistakes. And here's the turquoise green. That's interesting. It is kind of like a turquoise green though. Oh, it, bl it blends really well with the lime green though. That's good stuff for water landscapes. And Got a turquoise blue coming up here. Yep. I'm gonna just do a little bit of turquoise blue down here. Sorry guys, you didn't get to see that. So this was yellow green. This was supposed to be lime green. I mean um, lime green, and then this was supposed to be a turquoise green that um, I messed up with. Um, I didn't, I forgot one of those greens. Uh, so that's where I made the error in my palette. I skipped one, but I missed one by mistake. And then here is the turquoise blue again over here that I'm going to just smudge into this place so that I can see what the um, light blue looks like because that's the next color. So this is the light blue. Bring this over here like that. And the next one is going to be a cobalt blue, just really pretty blue. Yeah, so you want to actually get your blue in into the uh, paper there and blend it. And after the cobalt blue is the sapphire blue, which absolutely looks stellar. Let's look and see if we can get that over there. And oh yeah, that's gorgeous. 
After sapphire blue is Prussian blue. Do that like that. Get some of that in there. Work that up with some pigment. Yeah, I don't think they were wrong when they said they, they blend pretty nicely, and they do. I, Sennelier would probably be the next best, but that's um, artist grade, and I'm just starting off with pastels. I'm just spending this year since we've got time because of the changes that are happening in the world. I'm trying to experiment with my, my art mediums, and I ha although I have not mastered any of them, um, after five or six years of doing the same stuff, I'm kind of wanting to make some changes. This color is sky blue, which looks like it's absolutely, oh God, that, that's gonna be great to blend sky blue in with the um, ultramarine. That's, that's gonna be fun. Okay, so that's the sky blue. Whoa, sorry about that guys. Like I said, I'm using a new um, tabletop stand and in order to that to do this, I'm using my camera so I can kind of see but also work my way around so that you guys get the, the best angle possible. So now we're gonna go into black. And after this, I may have to go ahead and wash my fingers off. So that's Noir or black. And I am going to have to just dab my hands in some water here. I don't know how that's going to play out with the pastels, but I need to get some of the black off of my fingers just so that it doesn't tamper with some of the other colors and also get rid of some of the other pastel paint color that I have um, on my fingers. I'm seeming to pick up from just handling, sorry again, um, handling them. Um, okay, let's get us back on track here. All right, fingers are a little bit cleaned up. We're going to go into gray, the grays now, and then we're almost done with the neutrals. So we've got dark gray. Looks like I've got other items that I've slightly smudged onto the paper. So I apologize for all the little red streaks that Carmine or something might have hit. This is the little, this is um, regular gray. The other one was a dark gray. So this is just regular gray. The grays seem to be really creamy. Black was a little bit hard to move. Um, the light gray, love that color. Yeah, that blends pretty well. So the light gray over here as well so that we can kind of see what happens when we go into white as the next color. might be a little bit unfair because my hands still have a little bit of gray on it so it might not be looking as pure white as it could but that's white then I have pale yellow and I don't know why they didn't put it up here it's like an afterthought and how they put the, the palette together okay so this is the pale yellow with the white I'm going into like the neutrals I would say and then we've got olive yellow. Oh, that color is really pretty. Okay, so that's olive yellow. And we've got um, light olive as a color. Now these seem to be blending really well too. And then we have salmon. As you 
Let's see how that blends. I got a little bit of that um, light uh, olive on top of my fingers. This is um, salmon pink. Then I've got ochre. After ochre, we have russet. And we're almost done, guys. We got four more to go. That's a nice color. Then we've got brown. Then we have raw umber. Okay, so we had salmon pink. I'm gonna just scoot this down so that you can see it. Ochre, ochre, I mean ochre, russet. This was brown. This is raw umber. And this is why you have to, I can see now why they say, like watercolor, you gotta blend your lights first and then your darks on top of it. Then we've got what they call olive brown is next. Put a little bit over there. So I'm blending brown with olive brown. And last but not least, the last color is olive. All right, so like I said, the only thing that I would have probably done if I was the company is to take these colors that have variations of shades of like the yellow into the greens and just put them up here um, and then keep the white, the black and the browns, which were more neutral down below with the gray. Um, I like them from not having a ton of experience, having actually, I should say no, sorry about that, no experience with, um, with um, pastels and especially oil pastels. I'm probably starting off on a little bit more of a rougher track than a lot of other people would do. Um, I think this is a good, a good purchase. I'm happy with it so far from what I'm feeling. I'm gonna try to do my first painting sometime this week or next. I will try to post that so that you guys can see it. Give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, leave your comments below, and I'll definitely put the link for this set that I got from Amazon in my comments too as well. But thank you very much for stopping by and have a great day. Bye.